112 AC, Samuel Blackwood fought a duel against Amos Bracken, the winner of a princess Rhaenyra's hand in marriage. Well, that's how the lore books describe things going, in that one minor line the two characters are mentioned in. House the Dragon puts a little twist on things and also adds details, leading up to the duel. First off, the prequel writers changed both of their names. Why? No idea. Maybe they didn't want to associate this badass kid with Samuel Tarly, the ultimate coward. And if they're going to change Samuel Blackwood's name, might as well fully commit and change Amos Bracken's name too. Their new show version names are Willem Blackwood and Gerald Bracken. This was done a few times in Game of Thrones as well, nothing too crazy with name changes. What was cool was the added context behind the duel. It wasn't just a fight for the most desirable girl in the realm. Gerald Bracken was really asking for a little stabbing, with his insults, while poor Willem was in the middle of his high stakes audition. Ours is a bond that has long endured since Lucas Blackwood, the grandsire of my grandsire, aided the dragon in his war for conquest, Willem preached to Rhaenyra, but was interrupted by Gerald saying, I, the Blackwoods, truly turned the tides on that one. Willem ignoring him continued on, Horse with the blood of the first men. Our history is deeply rooted in this land, which your house has made its home. If chosen as your match princess, your days shall be easy and nights safe under my protection. Interrupted once again by Gerald saying, Protection, the princess has a dragon, you dumb. I don't think I can say this word on YouTube. Rhaenyra was impressed with this bully, probably because her type is Daemon Targaryen. She passes on Willem Blackwood, who she considers to be a child, and, he, and then he walks off. Jill Bracken adds one last insult, calling him Craven. Contrasting that claim, Willem unsheaths the sword, and the duel begins off screen. Since Rhaenyra has no interest in seeing this play out, but just as the princess approaches Storm's End's doors, Screams break out, and we see how little Willem made quick work of the much larger and presumably older Gerald. This is not how it played out in the books. It was the exact opposite actually, with Bracken defeating Blackwood. Both surviving to take part in the Civil War years later though. Even with the show changes, I like to think Gerald also survives his stab wound just so we can see him again on screen after the time skip. This scene had no business being as entertaining as it was. What was originally a forgettable passing comment made in the books, for the sole purpose of solidifying these two families' long-lasting rivalry, turned into one of the most memorable scenes of the first season. As much as I would love to talk about this scene for another 20 minutes, this happened in 112 AC, and we know how fast time progressed in this first season of the prequel. The 10 episodes were just set up for the real conflict to come, a full-blown civil war. It is now 129 AC, 17 years later, and it's Daemon Targaryen going into the Riverlands to negotiate with the lords there to fight for the Black's cause. In 112 AC, both participants in the duel were sons of lords. In 129 AC, Willem is now a lord ruling over House Blackwood. Gerald may still be just a knight, unless the show wants to deviate some more and just make both of them rival lords. Willem's responsibilities of being lord would be nice and cozy like you see in other castles if it wasn't for this heated rivalry over some disputed land that at times leads to a full-blown battle. House Blackwood of Raven Tree Hall is a unique house in the Riverlands. Like Willem stated to Rhaenyra in episode 4, they trace their ancestry back to the first men, not the biggest flex, a bunch of houses do, but they still follow the old gods like the northerners. They still pray to the weirwood tree in their god's wood, despite it being likely poisoned by the Brackens way back in time. A difference in religious views does cause some friction at times, but going as far as poisoning their sacred tree is taking it to extreme lengths, even for the Brackens. These aren't just trees. The first men believe weirwoods with a face carved into it are the old god's window into their world so they can answer their prayers and judge the living. Weirwoods left untouched grow forever, and was once burial locations for the children of the forest. Looking at their house sigil, the Blackwood's religion is a big part of their identity. There's enough hints dropped in the story to make me think that they have a drop of the old god's magic still running through their veins, like the Stark kids. How else did the Three-Eyed Raven, a bastard from this house, become a green seer? The Blackwoods, who originate from the north before being chased down by the Starks, are written as the more honorable and likable houses in contrast to their neighboring rival house Bracken, who are the larger dirty players, always looking to pick a fight and grab some land away from the Blackwoods. As funny as it would be to see little Willem grow into this jacked Hercules-like character over these 17 years, he may still be short and slim, just like the Three Red Raven, while Gerald will be the muscle head to fit the bully archetype. No casting news for these characters as of yet, but if that does happen to be put out, I'll definitely make some kind of before and after post in my community tab, like what I usually do with fun mini updates. Neither houses have much history with the Targaryens or the High Towers by this point in the story, as much as Willem Blackwood wanted to play up his family's bond with the Targaryens. It's almost non-existent. 
Both the Blackwoods and Brackens were turned down by Rhaenyra, so Daemon will have that obstacle in his way. But his eyes are on their liege lord, who rules over the entire kingdom of the Riverlands, Lord Tully. The Tullys do have a debt to pay the Targaryens going back a hundred years during the conquest of the Seven Kingdoms by Aegon Targaryen. During that massive war, the houses in the Riverlands were being oppressed by a king from the Iron Islands. Many in the Riverlands wanted this evil king out, including the Blackwoods and even the Brackens. So aided Aegon in his conquest, though he didn't really need their help. His massive dragon did all the real work. House Tully was one of the first to join his cause. So Aegon named the Tullys as the liege lords of this kingdom over every other house in the Riverlands. But this war between Rhaenyra's Blacks and Aegon II's Greens isn't as easy as picking the Targaryens or Hightowers. Both are the previous king's children. One just happens to be female, despite being named a rightful heir. Winning over the Riverlands will be vital because of their population and location on the map, being dead center of it all. That's why Daemon is personally going, and not one of Rhaenyra's brats. The books tell us which side the Tullys, Blackwoods, and Brackens choose, and how things play out for Willem and Gerald. So let's keep the comments spoiler free. There still isn't a release date for season 2, but there's no chance it'll be in 2023. Mid-2024 is our best bet. Thanks for watching this one guys. I'll see y'all soon.